I'm Victor Vincento. I'm based in Paris. I'm Parisian, and uh, I launched my brand one here in Africa uh, with the help of uh, Adrian Jaffe. And so this is why I'm part of the Dover Street Market Paris showroom, and uh, it's my fourth collection. Uh, we are lucky to be a semi-finalist of LVMH Prize this season, this year, and uh, this season. The collection is called Murder in Paris. I wanted to speak about uh, playing a game like is there a killer or if there is no killer, <laughs> but uh, like a credo or what we could say. So this is all about the print actually. This is could be everyone is a character and it's actually all my muses, my best friends. Most of them are performers and uh, dancers. This is why also I bring up all the time uh, joy and playfulness uh, into my shows because I love dramatic and I love uh, creating little stories and uh, of course uh, we wanted also to speak uh, for, by, for example about Medusa which is the most known killer uh, with the bad gift but without touching everyone and I thought it was really interesting to speak about this kind of personage and uh, to give to everyone uh, that you like or not you have a feeling of becoming in, or entering into the story of, of uh, my dreams. So let's go through some of the pieces. Yes, of course. Uh, for the more ready-to-wear pieces, we used a lot of nylon fabric, like bomber jackets, but with padding and with like a Can bottom. you try it on? Yeah, sure. Thanks. And the color pink. <laughs> Um, also, this isn't a lot of uh, boyish looks because actually myself, I don't wear huge hats outside <laughs> necessarily every day, but just for care. some <laughs> occasions. But we wanted like more, yeah, ready to wear, but cool bomber jackets mm -hmm. in beautiful fabrics. We bought um, mostly 50% uh, almost from our collection fabrics from the LVMH test stock, which is called Nona Source, because it's really important for us to have good quality, sustainability, and everything for a good price because we can't, I won't be to be accessible. It's really important for me. Very nice. Always this uh, sexy shades, but with a uh, lot of structure and mm -hmm. oversize on the top, sexy nice on the seat. waist and... Very nice. Thank you. We did also a lot of denim, bicolor, I wanted to give this effect of uh, like fake uh, stripes, uh, Paul Jartel, <laughs> <laughs> but with the denim. <laughs> mm -hmm. We always use a lot of um, stretch fabrics because it's important for us that the person feels good, feels good in the clothes and can be comfortable. This is why also I bring uh, this uh, ballet dance background into my work today is with all the stretch fabrics and because myself, I'm. I'm wearing stretch fabrics all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, so we did a lot of uh, ribs and uh, velvets, black and really black, but in mm -hmm. with different kind of blacks, and it's what I love. Always uh, this draping on the side and zipper on the side too, so you can uh, show your legs if you want. And always in the sixty uh, spirit, and also in the uh, other more tailoring. Uh, like mm -hmm. simple code, but with a lot of uh, details that are actually discreet. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of discreet or really too much. <laughs> <laughs> never <laughs> between, but never in between. <laughs> is it Oscar Wilde said, never too much. <laughs> never too much, exactly. <laughs> this is beautiful piece. It's a uh, asymmetrical uh, pink coat with a little train, uh, with one sleeve, on, uh, one arm, and Around. And the so hat. This Amazing. is a whole one piece. It's a hat supposed to be like this. And I can show you it's uh, draping really coming around the, the dress that uh, is almost uh, sheer in black sheer. Mm -hmm. It's actually crown, horse hair. And it becomes at the end really draped and with the uh, laces like a corset and just becoming a train. Rossi de Palma should be wearing ah. that, don't you think? I love Rossi, <laughs> I'm such a fan of her. She's him. great, yeah. 
This is um, the closing look. Which, Who was uh, the woman wearing it? Philippine Leroy Beaulieu. I'm really honored and lucky uh, to have met her. And she walked the show. She's a famous actress uh, from the Emily in Paris series from Netflix. And ah, okay. uh, she's uh, Sylvie, the character, the directress boss of the yeah. company in the I series. I met her at the shooting, yeah. And she did I didn't recognize this. her for some unknown reason. Well, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was a bit covered. <laughs> yeah. A bit covered, but yeah, she really um, is impressively a nice, kind and pure heart. And so it was one of her dream come true to have worked with her. And today she came like with this huge mushroom hat. Mm -hmm. And actually I can present you. It's really interesting to- The interior. The hat can be in two parts. Uh -huh. So it's a mix between uh, um, haute couture techniques and also cabaret. And this is what is interesting. It's an old construction inside. Like that could be really uh, practical to put on because otherwise it's always complicated to put the, <laughs> the yeah. hair and to pin everything. Interesting. The, the inside is all embroidery, so we have the feeling it's like a little spider's uh, toile d'araignée with uh, coming from the chain, and the chains can fall uh, to the floor. Really and do you have any desire to do something like Folly Bergère? Oh, I love, yes, I would love. I'm coming uh, from dance so ba background, so my dream is also to have one day to do a whale show between uh, dance, uh, fashion, and uh, enjoy. Great, yeah. No, I noticed both the shows I saw of yours. And these are more simple pieces. These are more simple pieces, like um, jerseys with just draping in the back that can nice. be taken off also. And uh, it's all produced by Comme des Garçons Factory. So yeah, it helps us are. to have a really a better prices and to be accessible. And this t-shirt is uh, like asymmetrical as I always do with uh, this France. And uh, you can tie it in the back so it can be really fitted and mm -hmm. have this feeling of a corset t-shirt. <laughs> Great. You know Mr. Pearl? Yeah, I'm such a fan of Mr. Pearl. He's, He's one of my dearest friends. I know. I know. <laughs> Mr. Pearl. He is a really, really, really the best of He's a genius, in the world. yeah. And humble, very humble. That I could not say I don't know him, unfortunately, yeah, but I is. can imagine if he's still uh, always uh, here, since it means something. Yeah, it's true. Here are more also another culture pieces that uh, are just about um, put, uh, covering the parts that are useless actually. Mm -hmm. So only the side, mm -hmm. it's padded with uh, to give this extra silhouettes on the hips, and uh, it's all with a silk uh, black tulle uh, sheer. Nice. Here is uh, the idea of uh, just having the feathers on the body. So I really wanted to have this nude fabric that actually we really don't see at the end. And so that really gave the effect of uh, just a girl uh, wearing feathers on the side, like would be a burn. Dita Von no? Yeah, really Dita Von <laughs> <laughs> Um, this also the prints, we did more the tailoring. It's important for me that at this, uh, the fabrics are good and we can uh, unbutton everything so it can be a, become a, a crop jacket or we can take off the draping so it's really versatile clothing mm -hmm. so yeah right. these are the more jerseys parts it's uh, our best sellers all the uh, every seasons it's simple tops but with a little twist every time really uh, classical but actually uh, what I think uh, mm -hmm. I would wear myself. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we have, of course, the black versions, nice. asymmetrical from the time. And this is uh, my uh, Kim Kardashian meets Kawakubo. <laughs> I, yeah. I call her like that because I wanted to do something that will come transforming the body, but in a really sexy way at the end, actually. So it would be like extra hips and three asses and... <laughs> like an octopus at the bottom, no? 
Yeah. So like a, a bit uh, Ursula from uh, <laughs> the movie, <laughs> the cartoon. It's too great. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so 